Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Otherwise, this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, also, just a beautiful thank you to everyone who's been liking, sharing and subscribing. It really does mean a lot. The channel has grown so much, so I'm forever thankful. So thanks so much for doing that, Taurus. Let's jump into it and have a look and see when you could potentially be needing your soulmate. Okay. Let's start off with the Emperor. Now, the Emperor represents the time of Aries. So some of you might be connecting or have already connected with the soulmate in the time of Aries, March 21st till April 19th. Now, the Emperor as an energy of when you might be meeting your soulmate is really about domination. Now, the Emperor has experienced so much and has grown so much as a person, as an individual, to be at the level where he is, okay? This is the highest T. Um, it is quite powerful, much like the King of Pentacles, which you are actually coming up as, which I love. Um, but look, for a lot of you, you're going to be meeting a soulmate when you've dominated something. Um, and it's about wisdom because the Emperor is very, very wise, not only in age, because of his age, but because of life experience. So I feel for a lot of you, there's an area of your life that once you dominate or once you reach a certain level of, that's when this person is going to come into your life. Now, because the Aries sign that represents the Emperor is the beginning of the Zodiac, it could indicate there's something about new starts and new beginnings. For example, some of you might be starting a new career path and that could lead you to a soulmate. For others, it could be a new living situation. You might become an expat. Uh, you might be starting on a new career path. You might be embarking on building and rebuilding new relationships with family, friends, past lovers, etc. Um, but it's also tied into somehow in new beginnings because the Aries energy brings a surge of motivation. Okay, so it's even like a new challenge. Aries love a challenge, okay, and the fact that that's coming up around you, Taurus, could indicate that an, a new challenge will come up in your life and that's when your soulmate could be coming in. So they're possibly tied into new starts, new beginnings and new challenges. Conquest. Okay, the emperor was known for his dominions, for what he had, for what he represented. And he had a lot. So I think it's, a, it's, it's, it's at a time when you're attracting a lot more into your life. But it could be in the time of Aries. Very much, you know, uh, that's coming up early next year. So for a lot of you, that could be when you're connecting with this person. This is further supported by the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands isn't as concrete as the Emperor. So for some of you, the King of Wands can represent an unsettled, excited energy. He also likes to move around and not stay in one place for too long. So I feel for a lot of you, a soulmate is coming in when you have more adventure or movement or even freedom in your life. The King of Wands loves freedom, freedom in living situation, freedom to choose what he wants to do, freedom um, slash adventurism, spontaneity. So for a lot of you, I feel there's a soulmate coming in when you have more freedom and more movement in your life. Now, for some of you, it can represent adventure. It can represent relocation. So you might be meeting a soulmate at a time when you're moving home, at a time when you're going on a trip be it international, local, interstate, um, commuting. There's something about movement or at a time when you're inviting more adventure into your life. You know, being the yes woman, the yes man, opening yourself up to new experiences that take you out of your comfort zone. Um, coming out of routine, you know, that's a big one for you, Taurus. It's not always easy. You can be quite adaptable, but you like, you like to know things. And I guess, not that you're not spontaneous, but sometimes that element is a bit, you know, it's a bit overwhelming for you. So I think, you know, it could even be a change in attitude, a change in how you accept things, how, how open you are to opportunity, because the King of Wands is open-minded. So I think for a lot of you, it's this person is going to come into your life at a time when you are more adventurous, seeking more adventure, 
becoming more open-minded with opportunity, open-minded with your social circle, open-minded to what the universe has in store for you. So I do sense for a lot of you, it's going to be during that time. You also have the Ten of Wands, which can represent burdensome energy or challenge or doing things on your own. I think for a lot of you, a soulmate might be coming in when A, there's a lot of hard work that's put into something here. And it could be financial, it could be working on yourself, but I feel like it's an independent thing. Uh, you can see he's carrying a lot here, but he's doing it on his own. So I feel for a lot of you, there's a soulmate coming in and you might be meeting at a time when you're carrying a lot or you're um, am ambitious to achieve or succeed in something, but it's something that you're doing independently. So it's either working on the self, maybe this is a self business, maybe this is carrying a lot of trauma or accepting accepting what what has shaped you as a person. This could be more so psychological maybe here, Taurus. Nonetheless, I feel like for a lot of you, that could be when you're meeting with someone. It's a very busy time in your life that you're meeting this person. You're going to be, you have a lot, a lot that needs doing. You have a lot of things that you'll be focused towards. Um, towards on achieving or having or experiencing and that's when this person is going to come into your life and let's not ignore the fact that you've got the king of pentacles taurus now for a lot of you i feel like this person is already in your life and i say that because you've come up as your own sign meaning for a lot of you destiny has already taken shape has already taken form and a lot of you have made direct or indirect contact with the soulmate lover you've come up in your power here this talks about destiny and fate and things that were written in the stars for the sign of Taurus, be it your sun, moon, rising, Venus. For a lot of you, the emperor, the emperor is having it all, okay? So for a lot of you, I do feel like you do have a soulmate connection that's in or around your life at this point in time. If not, it could be that this soulmate comes into your life around your birthday. Now, the dates of Taurus are roughly April 20th to May 20th. So for some of you, you might be connecting with this soulmate lover during this time. The King of Pentacles also represents a lot of material success, prestigiousness, culture, understanding, acknowledgement, worldliness. So for a lot of you, this person could be coming in when you're immersing yourself more in customs, in traditions, in cultures, um, getting back in touch with your traditional roots, possibly even at a time when you have a certain material um, wealth that's acquired to you. It might be when you gain a new asset. It might be when you reach a prestigious new title in your career. Um, but the King of Pentacles is quite wise, is quite learned, but has, because he's been through so much, 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 um, much like the Emperor, I'm inclined to say it's having a certain level of something in your life, and that's when this person is coming in. And you could be meeting through career or through elite social circles somehow. Because the King of Emperor, uh, sorry, the King of Pentacles and the Emperor are deeply influential, powerful people, key people. So you might be meeting this soulmate through the key people in your life, even. But it could absolutely be through career, or culture, or like I said, tradition. The King of Pentacles is a traditionalist, so it might be coming in at a time when you're embracing a new culture, you're learning a new language, uh, you're getting back in touch with your roots. Um, you're learning more about the ways of the world, current affairs, customs of other cultures, traditions, moral beliefs, uh, religious beliefs even. So for a lot of you, that's when you will be connecting with this person. But the times that have come up are Aries and Taurus. I will leave your reading at that though. Thanks so much for tuning in Taurus.